Hey, Carson Bible Church. It is time to uh, check in with a quick update. As you know, um, from last week, we made the decision to suspend our in-person service on Sunday morning, and that was because of our governor's um, mandate that although churches are still allowed to meet in person, they are not allowed to sing. And so as we believe that uh, singing is a very integral part of our worship service, uh, we believe that it's mandated by the Bible. Uh, when we do meet together, uh, I didn't feel comfortable having our congregation meet and uh, not have a full worship service by not singing. Um, again, as I mentioned last week, we do want to be flexible. Um, we are resilient and uh, we, uh, above all, we do uh, want to be uh, compliant as much as we can and that is what we have done so far. We have done our best to be compliant with all mandates and uh, we do want to continue to do so. Um, but at the same time, uh, we believe that uh, if we are able to meet together in person that we should be doing so. And if we're going to meet together in person, then we should do so biblically. Um, in his letter to the Colossians, the Apostle Paul uh, gives some instruction on what it means to uh, be God's people and how God's people are to uh, live and act. And starting in verse 12, uh, the Apostle Paul writes, Put on then as God's chosen ones, holy and beloved, compassionate hearts kindness, humility, meekness, and patience, bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, forgiving each other, as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. And above all these, put on love, which binds everything together in perfect harmony, and let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, to which indeed you are called in one body, and be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, teaching and admonishing one another in all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in your hearts to God. And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And so as we read and understand that passage um, and other passages of scripture, we uh, really believe that the biblical mandate is for us to sing. And so we will be meeting this Sunday uh, at our regular time at 1030 and we are planning to sing. Um, that doesn't mean that we are throwing caution to the wind. Uh, we are still uh, continuing with all the regular precautions that don't uh, hinder our worship. Uh, so we will be practicing social distancing. Uh, we'll be leaving spaces in the parking lot between cars. We will be wearing face coverings. Uh, we. Uh, are asking uh, for no handshaking, no hugs, no touching, uh, things like that. Um, and uh, as I said before, uh, we are wanting to be flexible. Um, and this really doesn't mean that we've changed course uh, on, on how we're trying to lead the church. Uh, our, our intent is still to be compliant as much as we can. Um, we, we do want to be flexible but also uh, our roots are firmly planted in the word of God and we don't want to give up ground. And so in this case, we believe that it is more important for us to obey God rather than to obey the laws of men. Um, so uh, all of our regular ministries, as always, will still be posted online. Uh, for those of you, if you happen to be sick, please do stay home. Uh, for those of you who are uncomfortable meeting in person, then uh, if you make the decision to stay home, that's okay too. Uh, as, as always, you will have access to uh, our worship and um, the sermon and, and our other ministries that get posted online. Uh, please do continue to lift one another up in prayer. Uh, please uh, continue to pray for myself and our elders. Um, and uh, we, we just pray for wisdom and uh, peace as uh, we navigate these uh, kind of changing regulations. Um, and as uh, Paul writes in uh, the scripture that I just read to you, um, we, we firmly and strongly want everything that we do uh, to be done uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, to bring honor to him and to the Father. 
So God bless you. We'll see you Sunday.